Hi guys, it's your boy Caleb Shoemake coming to you again today with another video. And I just wanted to make this video and address something that happened this past Thursday night, I believe. Recently, Jimmy Kimmel interviewed Kanye West. And if you haven't checked out that interview, there's a lot to unpack in that interview. Great stuff. And if you haven't seen it, I will post the full clip. It's about a 20 minute clip, but there's a lot of stuff that's really good stuff in that interview that he said, but I'm just gonna unpack a little bit of it and address some of the stuff that I, I believe really needs to be said. Out of all the people to say it, you know, it's funny that it's coming from a rapper, but uh, Kanye has always seemed to be a very independent-minded person, and I admire that about him. I've not always been a rap fan. I've been into it for several years, but. I have to say, from everything that I've known about Kanye, he always seems to be, like him, love him, or hate him, he always seems to be very independent-minded, and I really respect the heck out of that, you know. But I, I will play a segment for you from that video uh, clip, and then I'll post the full clip for about, uh, it's about a 20-minute clip. But I, I will post that full thing so you can watch it. But I, I just want to play a little bit of it and then talk to you about uh, my thoughts on the uh, the interview. Well, people, some people were very happy when you said you like President Trump. Do you like? Do you think he is a good president? You, you're going to ask me, can I answer the first question you're going to ask? ask? Answer whatever you want. Well, you know, it's, it's funny, you know, in this world that we live in, there's two main motivating forces, and I, I tweet about it all the time. It's love or fear. And you, you, you can't explain love. You know, my cousin is locked up for murder, and I, I, I love him. I saw he did a bad thing, but I still love him. Um... And just as a musician, uh, African-American, guy out in Hollywood, all these different things, you know, everyone around me tried to pick my candidate for me. Mm -hmm. And then told me every time I said I like Trump that I couldn't say it out loud or my career would be over, I'd get kicked out of the black community because blacks are, we're supposed to have a monolithic thought. We can only like, we can only be Democrats and all. So, um, it, even when I said it right before I went to the hospital and I expressed myself, and when I came out, I had lost my confidence. So I didn't have the, the confidence to take on the world and the possible backlash. And it took me a year and a half to have the confidence to stand up and put on the hat, no matter what the consequences were. And what it represented to me is not about policies, and because I'm, I'm not a politician like that, but it, represent, it represented overcoming fear and doing what you felt, no matter what anyone said, and saying, you can't bully me. Liberals can't bully me. News can't bully me. The hip hop community, they can't bully me. Because at that point, if I'm afraid to be me, I'm no longer yay. That's what makes yay. And I actually quite, I quite enjoy when people uh, actually are mad at me about certain things. You must like, enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually quite enjoy it. Because your wife was mad at you, right? I mean, according to your song, your wife was upset about that. Right or his words, Kanye's words. And you know what really impressed me? He said it took him over a year to be able to get up the courage to say that he was a Trump supporter. To put on the hat and say that that was his guy. That the hip-hop community wouldn't bully him, liberals wouldn't bully him, the media wouldn't bully him. It took him over a year to say those things. And this is Kanye West. A guy who, by the world standards, has done it all, you know, and done things that, to me, would take a lot more courage than coming out and saying what you believe. I never thought that we would be in a, a day and age to where it would be considered courageous just to say, I support this guy, you know, that Trump guy. I, li I like that guy. 
I didn't think it would be that way with any political candidate, but here we are. But he said it took him over a year to be able to do that. But I applaud you, sir, for having the courage to speak up. And may it be an example to the rest of us to be able to speak what we believe without fear and not to be pushed towards this monolithic mind frame, this collectivist nature that so many in the political realm want to push us towards, particularly those on the political left and, and the right too to some extent, but in particular the political left. May he be an example of what he embodied. I don't know if he realizes it or not, but you, sir, Kanye West, you embodied the spirit of 1776. The spirit that said, enough is enough. This is what I believe, and I'm going to stand up for it. Right or wrong, I'm going to stand up for it, and consequences be damned. I'll deal with the consequences later. And, you know, some people might think that, oh, well, he's just doing that to sell more records or whatever. No, I honestly believe this is truly what he believes. His album's already out. He doesn't have an agenda. Thank you, Kanye, for doing that. And may he be an example to the rest of us to be able to speak what we believe without fear and to realize that it's okay to have varying opinions, beliefs about all different kinds of issues and that this collectivist nature, not only is it un-American, I believe, but it's very dangerous. And thank you also, Kanye, for speaking about love. You know, I agree 100% with what he was saying. I believe that love is the most powerful force that human nature, humankind will ever know. And I believe that it is love that will see us through. It'll be love that will overcome. It'll, it's love that is courageous. Hate is easy. It's easy to hate your neighbor. It, it's love for those who disagree with us, in spite of our disagreements, when we say, I love you still, and that I don't have malice in my heart because you disagree with me, and you're not my enemy, that's courageous, not hate. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If, you're, if you haven't subscribed to me already, be sure to subscribe, and I'll be coming at you soon with more content.